a doctor from Florida was busted dousing his old office with gallons of urine. This is the Rock and Roll Weather Man. My name is Sean Morrison, and yes, it is fucking disgusting. Nasty. As Janaki says, nasty. And meet Giovanni Bola, B-A-U-L-A. I think he's Filipino. He doesn't, definitely not Italian. Because picture, he looks Filipino, but that's besides the point. He's 59 years old. He sold his Florida practice in 2022 to a fellow doctor. In recent months, he became upset over the business with the purchaser. With the purchaser, who knows why? Maybe um, maybe some of the customers still go there or weren't happy and contacted him. Who knows? But it did not. The court records don't don't mention the, the um the nature of the business dispute. But apparently, on July 30th, 2022, Mr. Barlow went to Dinesh's office. Oh, Dylan Dinesh is the guy that runs the um health clinic now out of his former office in St. Petersburg, Florida. He apparently went to the office and soaked the front doors in gallons of fluid which had the odor of urine. On August 17th, he apparently returned to the property and again unleashed a cascade of rain of rank smelling liquid. Fucking disgusting. And on both occasions, guess him and his vehicle were recorded on surveillance cameras. And the urine smelling liquid soaked into the front wooden doors, causing irreplaceable damage. Replacing the door, 1500 bucks, it says. Yeah. According to the rest of David, which reports the medical practice of it, $6,000 in other losses related to the urine attacks. Maybe because they had to close and they lost appointments. Maybe the place had to be refixed. Who knows? He was charged with a felony count of criminal mischief and was released after posting a $5,000 bond. Friends, if you're not subscribed to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else, after subscribing, thank you very much for the continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. According to state records, Dr. Ball's medical license expires in January 2025. It's active. His primary practice address um, is listed as his 1.7 million waterfront home in Gulfport. And in 2003, he was formally reprimanded by the Board of Medicine, fined 10 grand. In order to perform 100 hours of community service, service, after he improperly prescribed medicine to an online client, he never gave a physical exam, ordered tests, or provided an adequate diagnosis, among other standard of care violations. At the time, he was employed by some company called Virtual Metal Group, a telemedicine outfit, which, which now appears to be defunct. I mean, being upset is one thing, but you're going to go to the, you're going to go go to your former office that you own or practice and just um go throw tons of urine onto the building did you think you were gonna get fucking caught jackass I'm just you know guys ask about these crazy stories I find them I tell you about them if you don't believe me just read about um Dr. Giovanni Baller in The Smoking Gun Shame, shame, shame.